But you also said it was like it's why the vehicles fly. So it made me think like maybe you just sprinkle some genesium on your old your old 1950 Chevy, and next thing you know, you got like a Valkyrie. Yeah, like a little, little pixie fairy dust, right? You just like <laughs> sprinkle that on there. Oh, what? <laughs> you, I mean, like, dude. So what are you doing? You just sprinkle it in your Cheerios, and yeah. you're just like, oh, now you're flying. Welcome to episode two of Around the Corn. I am your host, Bo Hubris. I'm joined, as always, by the man Beyonce calls easy on the eyes, Eddie Z. <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> tell the people what we got in store for them today. Oh man, we got a lot of things to talk about today, I swear. It's Neo Tokyo. What else? Uh, we got uh, Kobe Cafe dropping a bomb on us. Uh, big bomb, big bomb. Uh, oh yeah, a yeah. lot to talk about for sure. Yeah. How was your week, man? It's been a been a busy week for me. What have you been up to? Oh, man. Busy week for me as well. Finally got my car back thanks to Blocky Block. Give me some advice there as well. Uh, geez, I had to change the battery on my car. Uh, it was definitely the battery. <laughs> I had been walking Blocky, for, for the past two weeks uh, to work. Or, Blocky Block yeah. coming in with the car tips. That's good to know. I'm going to hit Blocky Block up for that. Yeah. Yeah, I've been having a crazy week too, and I'm just glad to be here. Just kind of like time to relax do this pod and be in the game we're here with uh in front of our favorite place lately in front of uh, the seven speakers you know so music by yeah. seven by the way i just want to point that out only yeah. point, only play only place to hear it is here in cornucopias seven or or in my in my own mind in my own sleep like when i'm like dreaming of the game i hear i hear this music now it's like linked together so <laughs> but let's let's get into like the big news, man. Like the the bombshell that was dropped on us in Kopi Cafe. Uh, I think we have uh, a little clip of that. So in case people didn't see it, but like um, we the big news of the day was that there's gonna be no uh, bubble zones, no no two home bubble. <laughs> yeah, no home bubble, no two hammocks and a or two trees in a hammock, right? Yeah. Like not, at least not right away. Not right away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was your what was your feeling about that when you heard that? Because like we, I think for a long time we've all been kind of envisioning this home bubble, uh, where we're gonna have you know our little place we're gonna be able to build up. What did you think of it? Personally, I'm not too upset about it. I kind of that's that was always been my concern in terms of like, you know, I was always saying like they gotta build they gotta have more developers because of what they want to do is such a such a, a grand task. So yeah, it's monumental uh, in terms of what they wanted to do. I think it was. Um, I mean, I think even. Dave said it himself in the last Kofi Cafe. He was overwhelmed, right? And I was like, yeah, of course. I, I can... Even, I'm not a dev, right? But even I thought that that task was daunting to me. Like, how are they going to make a, everybody be able to have their own personal bubble? And it, it just seemed a little bit out there. Um, yeah. And I was concerned for them in terms of, like, a staffing levels and getting the game out, their timeline, and they want to get out to get the game out. So I think this pivot personally i think is a necessary one and it's not like they can't they won't come back it's not it's not like it's over uh and people because that's the thing i think a lot of people were a little upset just because i mean obviously from the beginning right that was a sales pitch it's a two trees in a hammock it, 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 yeah. you get to build your own personal thing uh and that's what a lot of people and like to do too, that was the idea that you could turn it turn it into an nft and you could build it up and sell it and start over <laughs> but i i don't know if that was part of it i mean so we'll, we'll we'll get more details. Why don't we why don't we show that clip yeah. of uh, David David talking? So, inside of that sector resort or housing, you will have levels going all the way up. So you have kind of like your basement and above ground layers where you'll have a lot of free players to be there. Just you know, some people will have windows, some people won't. Uh, as you go up, you'll get to a pit house level where there's a lot more space, and that's options to purchase or options to earn your way up uh, to those. So the uh, the higher up you go, the bigger they are. And what happens in there? That's insane. Yeah, that, I mean, I love that some of us are going to have windows and some of us aren't. Like, <laughs> we're, we're starting off, it gives you that feel of um, that, like the Titanic, uh, the movie, the Titanic, you know, the, the little people are down below, the big people are up and we're, and we're all trying to like kind of claw our way to the top right trying to find our way up there yeah i hope you i hope you see me up there uh i definitely yeah. want a window i, I don't want to be 
stuck with no windows like a uh, lower class <laughs> it's I, it makes you wonder what you're gonna have to do though right like what like what how hard is it is it gonna be something that you can achieve in a, a few months is it gonna take you a year like it you know, it, it really the imagination just starts kind of running wild with that because it could be so much to get there. Yeah, and look at the, and and look at that image. I mean, in terms of like how the three solaces are, and then you have in the middle is the sector hub sh for the shuttle. So I guess that's where everybody, where that's where you would kind of go to or load into or drive into to get to the uh, to the three sections of solace. Um, yeah, and it seems like that's what connects the other sector hubs as well between the other like esperanza and for and fortune um, yeah very interesting way of doing I, things it's the scale i mean again the scale of it just keeps coming coming back to me this this all sounds very dystopian you know that so probably let's talk a little bit about the law that we introduce every single week there's been a calamity on earth earth is dead everybody that goes up in t and, and starts in cornucopias, you're basically a refugee. You're starting with absolutely nothing. You're starting with a dream. You're starting in the basement. I'm hoping on the wall, there will be a picture of two trees and a hammock because what you need when you're starting your new life in cornucopias is you need hope. And, and that's your hope. You want to start off with absolutely nothing. You need to build yourself up. You have you have a dream. You have a dream. You have hope. It's like in Episode Four, Star Wars. You know, we we all need. Hope. I think you you said that. <laughs> Help me, Rod wow, Greg. Yeah. Your only hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. Uh, I want I want an R two D two NFT right now that shoots out like a projection of Rob, where he's he's got like the curls on like the the earmuffs that Princess Leia had. Uh, yeah, that would be great. See that that the thing I like about Greg, I mean Rob Greg, is just. Again, he's that he's again. He's still bringing it back. He's still saying, "I still want that image on the wall of your two trees in a hammock." Because at the same time, if you think about it, like when you're playing the game, you're gonna be like, "Yeah, you're gonna have that community area. You're gonna be building your spot." But at at, at every point in time, you're gonna be seeing that of like what's to come because it will be coming. It's not something that that has been forgotten about. This whole two trees in a hammock uh, with your home bubble. That's something that will be coming. But if you think about it, the vastness of how big this game is and the fact that they're going for millions of users i mean they have to they we Pete, there are people also who want something out now right and that and the fact that you know that they're trying to condense certain things and, and makes things more uh efficient so that the game can come out i mean we're coming out with racing that's a portion of it and then they're coming out with the main game which is super daunting and how big i mean what, what did you know yeah. it was like a a hundred square mile, what was it? A hundred thousand square kilometers. Uh, yeah, it was, it was massive. I mean, he said it could almost be infinite, you know, yeah. so that, which is, which is wild. And I, I love that the, the, the way they're releasing the lore, you know, little by little kind of trickling out. And, and it's funny cause we're going to talk about it later, the Neo Tokyo podcast, because they get into the calamity of it, that of the lore and what, it's the lore is really why we're playing the game you know it's like the story that is unfolding and it's i love that the that the con almost, it's almost like an analogous to crypto really like you're starting at the bottom and you're working your way up right and you have a hope and a dream that's two hammocks or two two trees in a hammock right you know it, it really is analogous to crypto because that's why a lot of us came into here you know it's like we came in here not knowing you know what we're getting into and 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 we've kind of like the, the people that stuck around and we're working hard at it and we're doing our best and we're trying to elevate ourselves to the penthouse. It's kind of funny how it fits into that. Yeah. I can't wait, man. This is, this is huge. I'm glad that they're pivoting and I, I I'm so glad that they see they're taking the challenges and they're trying to, uh, I think David is doing everything just right. I think that he's leading the team in the, in the right direction well, and the game. In I mean, the right look direction. at David. I mean, I don't think he's been outside in four months, you know, like he's got to be working <laughs> his ass off, right? Oh, 100%. I, mean, I, I love David, but I mean, come on, guy, get some sun, man. You're looking there. I don't know. So <laughs> look, give David, give David a weekend off or something. <laughs> All right, dude, I want to, uh, 
show off our racing abilities, but not in a different way. I'm going to race you. Do you know the hollow caches on top of like the entrance to the Cleo Valley? The um, you have to kind of go up like the neon light for it. Yeah, the one right above. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I want to race you to there. So here's all right, the thing. All right. Yeah. The first, but as you say that, but let's see. Let's see if you want to do it. The whoever gets there first. Uh, gets to write a tweet for the other person that has to post, and you can be you can write it whatever you want. You could be like, uh, "Force me to say that I bow before Eddie Z's greatness, and I'm nothing compared to him." So whatever you want to do. Okay. But all right, all right, and I can be pretty creative. I might, I might put a good little tweet out there for you. I guess you do. Would you even you don't even call it tweets anymore? Uh, an uh, X post. Yeah. It doesn't feel you, right. Yeah, an X post. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna have to train myself not to say tweet. All right, but I'm gonna. Let's get right up here. We're at the. We're starting at the berry, berry, right? All right. And here we all go. All right. All right. Right. I'm gonna count us down, all right. and we're gonna race. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, oh. no! You you get stuck right away. Yeah, I did get stuck right away, and I'm not even oh. running. Go, run. What are you? Run. How are you ever try to run backwards? I got this. Come on, come on. I wish I could like. <laughs> I wish there was like a trip animation. <laughs> I could just like <laughs> stick my foot out. Really good. Oh. oh, just random by oh, sevens music. Yeah, right. <laughs> good little music to run to. <laughs> oh, which stairs? I'll take the stairs on the. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll take them on the. I think they're a little further away. Just for like you know the excitement of it, I will go left stairs. Although it's like I can't. I, I want to turn my camera around to see, but I don't want to screw up the lead that I have. Because I'm guaranteed to fall off the neon light at least once. Well, I'm making my way up the spiral staircase oh, now. Let me see you. Oh, sh okay. All right. All right. Oh, this tweet that I'm gonna write is gonna be amazing. It is going to embarrass you and make me look awesome. I have no idea what I'm gonna write. I, <laughs> you clearly have thought about this. I I, I spend <laughs> hours. I've spent hours thinking about how I can uh, humiliate you and, and, and lift myself up so, as so it's up as the greatest ever. It's up there, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here we go. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, you're right there. <laughs> you're right there. Oh my God. Oh God. Don't this. fall. Don't this fall. Yes. There is a chance. There is a chance. Oh my God. <laughs> is, wait, is that did you fall? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh god! You I already go fell. Slow. I know, but it, can, if I blocked you, if it can, oh my god, you're right in front yes. of me. Oh shoot, dude, okay, this is gonna take leave. us a while. Oh, there's wait. a there's a hell cache I haven't got here. <laughs> we're, we're doing the wrong. Light. Oh wait, that's I got the problem. The... Oh no. Oh wait, I should have kept that my mouth shut. That was what we were doing. We were we picked the wrong light. Oh dude. Okay. Oh, god. No, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't don't slide down. This is it. Stay. I got this. What's happening? Oh wait, I'm you're stuck. you're like you're like stuck in in the fall animation, and I'm sliding downwards. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, oh god, I did it again. Okay, I, I got this. You know what's embarrassing is is before I told you I I practiced this. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> oh no, don't make me laugh, man. <laughs> it's starting <laughs> up a spell. I I practiced this and I can't do it now because I wanted to beat you right, so bad. Here we go. Oh no, are you up there? Yes! Up there? Let's go! Oh, Let's go! <laughs> oh no. Yes. The All right. humiliation. And yeah. I still screw okay. Hey. <laughs> All right. So for those of that's you this, I, this is I mean, the... that's what I get for trying to cheat, like practicing oh, this. This is, a so... myth this is a mythic one, huh? Yeah, it's a mythic one. Oh. Maybe, maybe by podcast one sixty we'll have all of them. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do one uh, one one each podcast. <laughs> so oh, I, wanna, I was gonna I was gonna ask you. I don't know. It fits really well into the um, what we learned from the Kopi Cafe because it has some lore. I don't know if people caught the Neo Tokyo podcast because Rob and Josh gave away like a lot of information in there. So I actually wrote down a couple of quotes from it. So I'm gonna read them to you. I know. I I want to say. Rob gave up <laughs> some. Lore. Yeah, that's true. It, didn't it seem like? <laughs> so, if you guys didn't watch the thing, it, like Josh's face when <laughs> Rob said the word genesium, it, 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 it like oh, no. hands like here. Here's my reenactment of Josh. Is like, 
Yeah. Oh, I guess we're giving away everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So they, they, they squeeze a little <laughs> alpha out of Rob, apparently. Uh, but here was the quote from Josh. Uh, the calamity was the result of an architect that was working on some technology. And there are 12 architects in this space and this technology. There was an issue that occurred and it was tragic and it forced humanity to have to leave. So that's pretty, pretty much the whole game in a nutshell, right? We had to leave the surface to the air uh, because 12 architects were doing something they shouldn't be doing, apparently. That's very interesting. And and also, like, the, the fact that he said that there's a genesium technology and that's how we yeah. were. And this was well, what, it took place in what? Dec like what was the decade? So so, so that's what, so then then the neo the guy squeezed that asked Rob to give a little more, and this is what Rob said. Uh, so I'd say somewhere in the 1950s, the architects discovered something, a technology that sped up the timeline, that sped up the timeline of human invention, and that's why you see flying vehicles that look like they're from the 50s, but they can literally fly because of the genesium. When Rob said the word genesium, that's when uh, that's when Josh was like, "Oh, I didn't know we we're talking about that." So that I think that was a pretty big leak, actually. That there's this substance that that we can maybe find or craft that's going to be really essential to this game, the genesium uh, substance or whatever it is, whatever it is. Very interesting. I'm, I can't wait to hear more. I mean, I I, I obviously, obviously believe that there's you know every good game has a really good story uh a yeah. good lore, right so i can't wait i'm glad that they got that out of <laughs> out of uh Rob. they squeezed it out uh, of him too maybe he was drinking i don't know maybe he was maybe his drink was spiked a little bit i don't know but yeah whatever was he was drinking in that podcast he should be drinking for all the kobe cafes <laughs> because we're gonna we'll have the whole storyline by the end of the month yes yeah, that truth juice but the uh, I think the twelve architect. I mean, it's you. You get like a little bit like biblical, you know, with the twelve disciples. The number twelve is really interesting. It made me think of like the um, the a movie that I really like, the arm uh, twelve monkeys, right? Like the uh, where it's kind of like futuristic, but it's also retro. It's like they're underground. They're having to make use of technology that you know they piece together the the junk that they have laying around to be able to make their time machine. So. That's the feel that it gave to me. Oh, that's interesting. I, yeah, I, that's I never even thought of that. That's actually yeah, I I can kind of see that. And did you know that the um that the domes are above the Atlantic Ocean? That's dry. It's dried up down there. That the, have you heard that piece of lore before? I, I had not until he actually yeah he mentioned it there. It's a yeah. yeah quite a lot of and honestly quite a lot of great information that they shared uh, in that it, Neo Tokyo it, podcast. They need to do the Neo Tokyo like once a month. Yeah. So, uh, we're gonna we so that's where we're gonna be at. We're gonna be finding the genesium or crafting. it. What do you think it's gonna be? Do you think it's gonna be something with mining, or do you think we're something we're gonna make together, make make on our own? That's what I don't know. Obviously, like I mean, I'm curious if it's like a mineral. Like I mean, are we talking about like the same thing as like you know what's that uh the one. Uh, element that's in Marvel, uh, uh, vibranium. You know, like is it something? That's, yeah, like is it something similar to that type of thing, or is it something that you create? You know, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm very curious as to what that is. I don't know. But he also said it was like it's why the vehicles fly. So it made me think like maybe you just sprinkle some genesium on your old your old 1950 Chevy, and next thing you know, you got like a Valkyrie. Yeah, like a little, little pixie fairy dust, right? You just like <laughs> sprinkle that on there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, you, I mean, like, dude, so what are you doing? You just sprinkle it in your Cheerios, and yeah. you're just like, oh, now you're flying. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So we're gonna take this ride to taste the solace, and while we're kind of enjoying the view. Uh, looking around, I wanted to ask you, Eddie, if you have actually purchased any nodes. Uh, yeah, I uh, my goal was to get three of them, and I definitely achieved my goal. I uh, so what about what about you? Did you get any? I I actually can't remember if I got two or three because like I went I went I bought a third one and it I don't know if the transaction went through and then I was like oh I was gonna wait and see and then I'm and then I don't know if I actually bought a third one but i meant to buy three. Oh. oh we, we took us we got the, we got the solace really quickly here I, I thought it was like a little bit longer ride than that but yeah. i know some people were talking about 
um, maybe you're trying to buy 50 of them or something like that. Like, I don't, I don't know if you know anybody who has maybe in the comments, if you're one of those people that bought 50, uh, let us know because we want to talk to you. Like, I want to know what your strategy is because I think it's really interesting. Some people went heavy on the nodes. Some people are going heavy on land. So that would be fun to talk about someone about. Yeah, just to kind of understand what the strategy is there, right? Just like, what's the what's? Are you trying to resell them, or what's the what's the, yeah? What's going on there? Because it's all obviously it's all about decentralization and and, yeah. and being able to you know, I, I would assume also typically decentralization obviously means governance as well in the future as well in terms of what happens with and how things are divvied out and rewards and all that too. So. I'm I'm curious. What's what's the oh. what's the deal? I mean, I I want to. I only got three just because I you know I only have one PC. I if I had another dedicated PC, mm, yeah. I would have gotten more. But I just wanted to got uh, get just three. Test out one to two. And if I can manage three, then I would do it for the rewards. Um, because I you know I this would be my first time ever doing something like this. I'm not as savvy either uh, in terms of stuff yeah. like this so that's, that's um, what worries me is i'll screw yeah. it up right exactly and then i have these three nodes that are you know that yeah, i, I like paperweights <laughs> right then i might as well sell them but i mean I, but i definitely want to be able to run it and show my support for the game as well so mm -hmm. that's I, I know there's nodes in the future and i know like some gaming projects they their nodes are really expensive right like um the playable is like i think their nodes are going for like six thousand or something and for me i was like if there's like i, I think i would rather buy if there's an expensive node in the future right that, that there's fewer of them i think i would rather own like one or two of those than owning like 50 of the the these ones but i mean that's just me guessing i don't know if the if the, if the future nodes are going to be more valuable or more have more rewards but I wanted to be ready to be able to, you know, buy and run whatever nodes are in the future as well. Yeah, it's hard to tell this far out, right? I mean, I, I there are, apparently there are games out there that have done this, and I, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming it. It. I mean, there's a good reason for it, right? So I figured, why not? I'm gonna, I'm a fan of this game. I, I'm here to support it, um, and I'll, we'll, we'll see what come what may. I mean, there's so many un, unanswered questions that. You know, and the space is new, so we'll see where it goes. I, I don't think we could even know who has the most nodes right now because they're not in the wallets yet. Like, you have to wait till they're in the wallets probably to find out, and then we can track down who is, like, the node king, and we can uh, all, you know, bow to him. Or her. Or her, <laughs> or her yeah. The, yeah. But, like, <clears throat> I, you know, maybe there'll be, like, uh, you get, like, job of the hut or something on their throne of like nodes or something you know just the, their node castle have all the i have all the nodes and just what like make like a like a game of thrones like all the swords <laughs> kind of melted together yeah, the, the the melted together that would be pretty sweet too so i'm i'm just you know it'll be fun to see like what i keep saying this but what's going to be the best strategy is it Who's going to earn the most rewards? Is it going to be the person who bought 50 nodes? Is it going to be the person who owns, like, some some nodes, some vehicles, some land? Like, some combination of it. You know, I it's so hard to even begin to guess. That's probably why I try to get, like, a little of everything, you know? God, look at this water. It looks so good here. That was... You, I, you took the words right out of my mouth. Like, it looks so nice, and it just makes me think about the... Even just what... Going back, I think they even mentioned it at the uh, Neo Tokyo podcast was about the fishing game. I mean, because again, they don't want to call it like mini games, right? They want it's kind of yeah. like an immersed world, right? I, I would I would assume it's something, you know, it's open world. I would assume it's something you know that you can just happen to do, you know, just because it's available. Like similar to just hopping in your car, like in GTA, or when you can fish, like in I don't know if you've ever played Zelda, uh, Breath of the Wild. I have not played Tears of the Kingdom, but the fact that you can just fish and do stuff like that or you know do random activities whenever you want it's, uh, I don't think it's considered just like a straight like mini game per, per se but um, the, the fact that this water looks this clean this which I mean I've never seen water this clean <laughs> yeah <laughs> not the Potomac River actually the first time I saw it like when I was I, I was one of my first Kopi cafes when they released this um, leak of the Taste of Solace and they were they were showing the water and I was like, wow. 
And there was like a couple of Kopi cafes after that. They showed it with like the lumens where that was at, at night and that was all lit, lit up. Yeah. And I was, I was like, and I remember just, you know, dragging my girlfriend to the screen. I'm like, look at this. Do you see it? Do you see how good it looks? And she's like, yeah, it looks good. Uh, thanks for showing me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your virtual game looks nice. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go back to my book. Uh, so I, I feel like it's funny because like every time I have on the podcast, the Kobe Cafe on the car and she's in the car with me, I feel like Josh is talking about fishing. So, so to my girlfriend, who's not like paying attention to all of it, she's like, "Is he's like, is this just a fishing? Is it like a fishing game, or is it? Because like, and I'm like, no, it's like there's like districts and there's like competition and there's, and, uh, and she's but she just like luck of the draw. She's always hearing like them talk about fishing. It's kind of funny, right? Yeah, I'm curious. What I mean, I'm I would assume there's gonna be like stuff like I would hope that there's stuff like hunting. I mean, clearly yeah. there's gonna be all these different things and. I can't wait for them to expand and how big this thing is going to be. I mean, people don't even know. That's the thing. I, I mean, it's, insane. I wonder when it, like when they're going to find out, like what's going to be the, when will we, when, when will we look back and we'll say that was the moment where it went from being like just us who knew about this thing to everybody knew about it. All right, Eddie. It's time for that moment that everyone's been waiting for. Probably the reason why everyone tunes into the show. It is the Kopi Unicorn Meme Minute. Oh man, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, this is borderline reckless. Don't you, get it? you don't drive with your eyes, you drive with your heart. It's just dumb. I can't see a thing. You gotta feel the road. You gotta, you gotta let it live inside you. Are you feeling anything now? I'm feeling a little bit. Who did this? Who you feeling? Tell this is this is our meme for today. Oh hell yeah, dude! The worn wood of the steering wheel. Yeah. What else? A little bit of heat. That's you and the car melded together. Yeah. Now I'm really feeling it. I feel like the car could drive itself. <clears throat> wait, wait. You see the ending now? Oh, it's so it's fucking crazy. Like yeah, boy. All right, so. <laughs> Dude, the watch me. The watch me got this. And he just. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I don't know what I'm feeling. Look, we better hightail him out of here. Frank's gonna be pissed. No, no, Ricky, no blindfold. <laughs> that was. I love that video, man. Oh man, that was absolutely. That was great. Uh, everything about it, perfect time. Uh, I, I love that thing, man. That's. I'm gonna watch Kobe it again. Unicorn is a talented fellow, man. Cause like I putting that together, I love the I love that the vehicle is like in the living room and it's it's the Valkyrie and yeah. it's just it, oh perfect it's timing. It. Just the fact that he's like, you know, it's like oh I feel I can feel it. It feels. <laughs> He's like, uh, or he, I love it at the end where he puts the blindfold back on. He's like, we need to get out of here. <laughs> Ricky Poppy <laughs> puts the blindfold back on. It's yeah. like. It's so perfect. Yeah, hats off to Kopi so, Kopi Unicorn. Yeah, Kopi Unicorn bringing A plus content, helping us out with the podcast, man. Thank you for letting me use your memes, buddy. I'm gonna, and then that's like the perfect segue. Like, right, we're gonna now we're gonna go race after watching some Ricky Bobby. So, you want to do uh, Yellow Tracks and the uh, T3? All right, Eddie. So while we're waiting for this race to start up, I just wanted to remind everybody about the. Uh, mint coming up for the Knights Guild, and that the oh, big yeah. breast payment with a you know with all the prizes and stuff. Oh man, I'm definitely the, gonna be there, man. This is gonna that's exciting. I, I'm gonna probably mint a few. Um, yeah, just so I can up my chances to get some of those prizes. Again, like I want. Bank. There's like a thousand copy. I know there's some good yeah. land in there. I also wanted to remind people that you don't actually have to be in the Knights Guild. I mean, you could mint the whole. I would imagine you could end up minting a Mythic Knight and not even being in the guild, right? Like, you could buy it all in the secondary market and stuff. Yeah, that's actually true. I, I've always forgot to mention that. Yeah, you don't have to be in the Knight's Guild. Uh, and yeah. yeah, so fair game. I mean, if you happen to get a Mythic uh, rarity of the Breastplate, man, have more power to you. Go ahead and sell it off. I'll buy. I'll, I'll try and buy it for you. Um, I mean, yeah. And it's, a good, no, I, and it's also for a good cause plates, as well. Right? I think the Breastplates are like all that they're... Um, they're, they're all the it's, it's when you put it together you get the mythic quality knight. I think they're all the same level of the breastplates. Oh, okay. That's uh, good to know. But but yeah, and you know there's the good dudes in the um, 
I mean, you're off to a fast start. There's oh, some yeah. good dudes in the mafia that like want to contribute to the charity. I'm sure, like you know, so it's open to everybody. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait till we get the entire collection. I mean, it, obviously that's just me being impatient, but uh, it's gonna be a long process, which is great. And yeah, it's, there's a lot Shouldn't of different prizes. Easy. Yeah, and it's gonna be what the again the bank. Raccoon Syndicate, a bunch of uh, nice NFTs as well. Yeah. Um, I want to get another shield, because then I could mint the fourth Mythic Knight if I get... Oh, no. That's a good... That's Yeah, I gotta look into this more shields, because the shields are definitely where it's at. Um, I think that's gonna be the that's gonna be the deciding factor as to who can actually meet the requirements for getting the Mythic Knight in the end, because that's... Um, they're though they're most rare. One oh five sixty four. My first lap. It's, uh, it's all right. Yeah, my first lap is not going that well. <laughs> they have improved that ever since they did the like a uh, an update a while back. They definitely improved the the, the vehicle somehow. Because uh, I know Racer and I have gotten better times since uh, before then. And we think that there might be a slight little glitch when it comes down to... Uh, uh, oh, I turned ahead on collision No you. way. I was like, wait, what am I seeing? Bo Huber is coming... <laughs> yeah, you... Did he get in front of me? I was trying to blow you up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you ran through me last time. I was like, I'm going to get my revenge on this guy right now. And I, I'm just sitting here bouncing off the walls like a, like a noob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you almost got me, though. Yeah, my, my first lap, I'm at two minutes right now, so it's not, it's not going that well. 104. Uh, it's probably because I had to dodge you and I hit the walls. <laughs> I like that, though. It's like, uh, it almost, almost makes it feel like we need to have another uh, game type uh, where there's a juggernaut on the on the road. It's, there's, like, like uh, some kind of, like, uh, Cloud knocking you out of the way. Yeah. You, could, you know, what would be a really fun mini game would be um, like uh, what's that? What's that thing where they where they crash each other's cars into each other like something derby? Oh yeah. Uh, oh man, I can't even think. I, of I, I forget what it's. I, don't, I can't think of what it's called. Yeah, I can't think of it. What that it's would called be a really fun game. I think it Not was basically a cars, but something. <laughs> well, yeah, it was like uh, it was. I remember it was in uh, Fast and the Furious, the second uh, Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh, Roman was the one driving in one of those. Uh, it's like a derby. Uh... Yeah, where you get like a junk car. I I can't believe I can't remember what that's called, but you get like a junk car and you're just trying to just the the last car that's moving wins, right? Yeah. Uh... Oh man, I can't remember if 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 you're watching still. Put it in the comments because I want to remember yeah. what that is. Yeah, what is it? I, I get more mental blocks. Than you already finished the race. I already you? did, 100%. Yeah. All right. yeah, all right. Let's call it a podcast because <laughs> I have one more lap to go. I was trying to destroy you. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, make sure you're you know hitting up the uh, mint that's coming up on the 29th. Anyone can do it. There's lots of prizes. Thanks for uh, Rob and Greg for, uh, I'm sorry, Rob and Josh putting out all the uh, leaks this week, giving us a lot to talk about. Can't wait to find out what's going on. Eddie, do you have anything you want to add in the, for the closing? Uh, don't forget to put out that tweet. <laughs> it's oh, fair yeah. and square. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will put the tweet up there, and uh, <laughs> it will be embarrassing. Don't and, and please, everybody, you know, but in what, however bad it is, don't be too hard on me, okay? I I don't take embarrassment well. I don't take losing well. So. <laughs> yeah, we'll finish uh, out. Finish out the, are you gonna finish out the race, or are you just gonna? No, I'm not. I, I'm not even gonna bother. It's already. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, and, I want uh, to know my time. Gonna, are you gonna not? Okay. All right. We'll finish out the race, <laughs> and you want to know your time. That's fair. <laughs> I will. You know, well, what I'll do is I'll just edit it to the end. <laughs> and, that way, and that way, it looks like I had a better time. <laughs> but, uh, but I mean, so what final thoughts, right? Like, so in terms of what's going on, right? Yeah. I feel for the for everybody out there, don't worry about the, the home bubble. It's going to come. 
trust us or trust them, yeah. not us. I'm not yeah, part of the team. Yeah, don't be mad about that. Gary. Yeah, come, like come this, is, this is just something that move. they have to work around because they want to get something out to us, right? Logistically, yeah. it's kind of it's kind of not feasible for that to even happen, right? So I, I agree with the decision for them to pivot in that direction. It's it's again, it's they are adapting to what's going on, um, and they need a bigger crew. I mean, to make that happen. So if if you if you're still here, stay with us. Stay with the game. Have a little faith. It's gonna be grand. And as it as they get more funding and as this gets this game gets more recognition, trust me, the home bubbles will come. Um, I think he heck. I think even the Dave said it in that same podcast in the Cup Cafe. Maybe they might do it in some sort of like a premium type of uh, way uh, where you have to kind of uh, earn it or you know, who knows? Maybe you earn it in a certain way. Um, yeah. But things are things are brainstorm. They're brainstorming and they're gonna make it happen. So. It's it's coming. I I can't. I don't think anyone should be like overly upset about not having that because if if it makes the game run better, if it, it removes the loading screen, like David said, uh, it seems like it's a no brainer. It seems like and it, it, it adds to the lore and anything that we have that's going to be more com- competition pushing us to like you know do more and 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 level ourselves up is going to make the game more fun. Yep. So I'm yep. all for it. And, and even more, oh. Oh, well, yeah, but even so, like, it puts the games in our hands. I mean, what would, what would you rather have? Have to have them have another year of waiting of them developing all of this, uh, yeah. this game? Or do you want the game now where they have something tangible and, and you can actually have fun in the game? I vote for less waiting, more game now. Yes. And I'm the same. All right, Eddie. I'm going to call that a pod. We'll call that a pod for the day. All right. Everyone, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe. Please comment. Please help us out. Follow us on uh, Twitter or X, I guess I should say. Like the comment, too, that he's he's supposed to send about me. Yes, (laughs) definitely do that. And uh, also, we started uh, an Around the Corn uh, TikTok page. So if you're on TikTok, find us on Around the Corn uh, we'll be posting short videos from all of our all, all of our podcasts, so you can get us that way in, sh- in more deep in more short bursts. All right? all right. Thanks everybody. We'll be back next week, same time, same bat channel. Yeah!